I, I hope you get it. Are you getting a dick hey, over his head? <laughs> <laughs> over his head. Go ahead, do it. What? You do it. <laughs> oh, now now he's fucking camera shy. That's awesome. <laughs> Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., the campaign edition. As you can tell if you've seen this show, uh, you already know it's the campaign edition. Uh, we're glad to have you here. We hope you follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool stuff like shirts or uh, bath mats, you know, these guys have that shit. Uh, it's down there. If you want to chat with us in Discord, uh, that is for special people. For that, you got to be on the show. Uh, if you want to chat with us, join our Discord channel it's down there and most importantly if you want a seat on the show or on the talk show m hobo inc on twitter on gmail hit us up we'll get you hooked up uh tonight we are continuing with the campaign before we do that uh let's go ahead and introduce you to the folks who are going to make it happen or die trying uh we'll start with chris chris who are you and who are you playing uh, my name's chris i am playing Miniz, the eric hawker cleric who Still has yet to die in a long time. <laughs> well, we'll see how that goes. Trash! You're going to curse it tonight. <laughs> it has I say it every time. We'll see. It, it has been a while. Uh, we can <laughs> we, we can work on changing that. Uh, next up is Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? I said I'm Carol. <clears throat> I'm a mini commission painter. So is Chris. Uh, I'm also a longtime <clears throat> gamer and a sometime GM. And, of course, I'm playing Taryn, my elven bard who goey shit uh all sorts of <laughs> interesting things are happening right now nicely done next up is Ernest. Ernest, who are you who are you playing uh so i'm Ernest, and i'm playing lucas the uh druid and uh i am working through my anti-social problems and i'm actually answering the door when people knock on it now and i am making character development yay Oh. <laughs> and you have the best background right now. That's so appropriate. Oh, and I didn't start it. I didn't start it. Like no. I'm he not didn't causing start the, the problem. Fire. No, I didn't fight it. <laughs> I, hate, I hate these guys. I hate the campaign. I really do. It should wind yeah. up tonight. We should just fucking call it. No. Last but certainly not least is Kyle. Kyle, who are you and who are you playing? Hi, everybody. I'm Kyle. I'll be playing Do It hey, Doc Mel, the La Barbarian, and the uh, hero of the campaign. What? I mean, also, this beer is kind of fitting potentially to today. Ooh. Last duel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Better than last dance, I suppose. Uh, folks, I'll tell oh, you right. Care. What do you drink in Canada, for God's sake? <laughs> Listen. Some Canadian people made a beer called pubic hair and they got in trouble for it. Anyway. Oh <laughs> really? That's yeah, right. Pretty... The copyright for taint hair had to sue them <laughs> because they were also coming up with pubic hair. Taint hair pastries, not exactly one of our sponsors, unlike Pirate Dog Dice. And of course, Oddfish Games, oddfishgames.com. Uh, There's a dog who's barking. It's I think your... that's odd, but it's not. It's just strange. Unlike odd fish games, they're quite odd. Let the record show I did not kill the dog yet. Uh, yes, odd fish <laughs> games. Ooh, rowdy tavern smell. Oh, fish. <clears throat> oh, fish. Nice. They uh, didn't actually send me that, but. They should have. They should have, yeah. Because yeah. they love you. And, you know, who better to promote somebody than the guy who has the word dick over his head? <laughs> I'm just saving that for any time one of your NPCs pop up. Oh, so just constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> Fair enough. Uh, folks, I have a small throat problem today, so I will be... I thought you were about to say you had a small dick problem. No, no, I do not. Appreciate the offer, but no. I, I think we not. can producer to verify that uh, every every dick problem i have is huge uh, uh, she's strangely quiet <laughs> she is, she is throttling she's the dog either right well satisfied or <laughs> dead <laughs> and see odd fish games is like i don't think we can promote that let's see if the pubic hair beer guy is available uh anyway folks <laughs> this is the campaign so to uh kind of catch you up 
these dipshits uh, finally made it to Yaddle, where they are searching for the entrance to the catacombs so that they can go retrieve part two of a three-part artifact so that they can deal with evil and put it back even though they went ahead and let it out in the first place. Uh, they have not been having much luck finding the catacombs. Apparently, there is a group of nefarious individuals wandering the town, smashing up uh, buildings, including uh, the Shrine of Nicus, where they were going to enter the catacombs and find a good friend of uh, Dewey Dockamel's dead. <coughs> he's dead. Uh, he's <laughs> uh, but uh, last episode uh, the party got separated when Lucas flew off to his bridal suite to get four hours of wonderful rest uh, just after meeting Sonora uh, the infamous spy uh, who helps people get into the lockdown town and has made an arrangement to meet with her in the early morning hours uh, unfortunately, the other three, uh, not so much. They got stuck behind after discovering that Taryn has a evil twin sister who's in charge of the blockade uh, from Fulton. And uh, Dewey Dacamel's verbose uh, and voracious appetite for destruction has possibly led nefarious individuals over to the hotel that they were staying at, which surprisingly caught on fire just before Taryn could get all her spells back. Hey! Damn it. <coughs> we, so, we, what time is it at night? Uh, it's uh, midnight. Uh, we rolled, we rolled off screen and we we're starting with Lucas. Lucas, after four hours of your elven meditation, uh, you're refreshed. Dickie's rubbing it in. You look over, uh, <laughs> notice Perpetua has still not returned, so you've had the entire bed to yourself. Uh, you feel great. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. <sighs> Get that early morning yawn out. Uh, but you look out, pitch black, uh, high full moon. <clears throat> what do you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to open the window, uh, get some fresh air. Very good. Good choice. Uh, the acrid smell of smoke wafts in, and beyond the buildings across the street, uh, you see a faint glow. Ooh, <laughs> let's go check that out. That's a good call. Uh, are you going to wander down as yourself or take your raven, hawk, eagle, that shit crazy form? I'm uh I'm putting up my hood and uh and uh my little mask and I'm going to hit the rooftops in my elven form. I'm trying gonna try and save my uh wild shapes until there's danger. Uh so you're gonna break curfew is what I'm hearing. Break curfew curfew, but my face is covered and my hood's up. So even if people see me, I'll hopefully misty step out of there, turn into an animal, fly away. None's the wiser. Well, let's start with an acrobatics check to climb up to the roof. I'm on the second floor. Is there any uh, roof right past the window? Uh, there's a balcony, so it should <laughs> be a fairly easy climb. Okay, cool. Uh, what's my acrobatics bonus? Acrobatics is dex. 15. Easily. Uh, you go out onto the balcony, grab a hold of the probably copper gutter because this is the nice place. Crawl up onto the rooftop and begin to survey. Because this inn is one of the higher points in the city, you notice several blocks away, uh, there's a fire raging out of control. Go ahead and give me an insight check, please. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That is 14 plus 4, 18. Uh, uh, that's probably the place the guys are going. <laughs> Yeah, because I did hear Kyle or Dewey shout the place they're going to, and it was off the square that I had passed previously. I believe everybody heard Dewey <laughs> shout. That. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's a cost to having a low charisma score in the negative. <laughs> that is true. Or a low wisdom score? No, no, it's average. Lucas, yeah. we're going to start out with two d12 rolls against me. We'll do them one at a time, please. First roll. All right, first roll. 10. 
One. Second roll. Three. Eleven. Very good. Uh, first roll denotes, however, as I pointed out, it's a full moon. Uh, you hear shouts below. Hey, you! Come here! Uh, you look down and the torches held high illuminate guardsmen. You have been spotted. Oh, that didn't last long. Quick, kill him! How many guards? <laughs> Three. <laughs> Start peeing on him. Yeah, either that or a lightning bolt. We'll see. Uh, um, yeah, so they can see me from the ground. Can I back up farther on the roof so I'm out of line sight? Out of yes, Jason Bourne, you can. Line sight. Okay. Um, cool. I'm gonna do that and then take off. Hopefully, in the general direction of the fire. Uh, you are on this side of the street. You have to get to the far side of the street and then two more sections over. Ah, uh, so that's so do you want to go? What direction do you want to go? And th this part is kind of important for timing. For timing? Um, I'm going to go to the left. Okay. Uh, you are going to run down. Uh, let's go ahead and share the screen so everybody can see it. <clears throat> you are currently here at number two. You are going to run left. You know that uh, this area here is a narrow point. Uh, that is also a narrow point. However, you would have had to jump over a second street. Uh, so as you run to that area, uh, you will see that the guards are chasing you. Uh, would you like to make the jump south? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned a little bit. <laughs> uh, Kyle wants to take control of the screen and draw a giant penis on it again, I think. Uh, so do you want to jump south this way uh, over to this? There you go. Uh, or do you want to drop down onto this main road and try and avoid them? You will also hear uh, the standard guard whistles. Uh, yeah, I want to go to the south. <laughs> Everybody's uh, having fun with my drawing now. Uh, okay, uh, make make your leap, your acrobatics leap. It is the narrow point, so it's a choke point. Acrobatics. That was not good. 11. Uh-oh. Don't go. Sunk, sunk, sunk. As the crossbow bolts come down. Uh. A one, a one, and a 12. <laughs> So, I am safe. I, I would imagine you are. Uh, <laughs> you they, hear, you did hear. They take their, did they take their shooting lessons from stormtroopers? <laughs> yes. Uh, you hear the windows on either side of you shatter. Uh, give me a strength check to scamper up onto the rooftop. Strength. All right. <coughs> 14. Uh, you barely manage it, uh, and you hear three more bolts over uh off in the distance you hear oh <laughs> an innocent victim has succumbed uh because what goes up must always come down those evil guards i must <laughs> avenge that poor helpless citizen who was breaking curfew meanwhile back at the end of the laughing mime yeah, laughing mime. What a dumbass answer. Uh, Maniz, Dewey, and Taryn, you stand outside the smoldering ruins and the heat is uh, baking your face. I believe Maniz had the presence of mind last time to be looking around for the three nefarious individuals that Taryn had spotted from their corner apartment. Uh, so far, Maniz, you do not see any of them. Everybody give me a D12. Not well, not Lucas, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Do Ooh, 12. Anyway, Lucas. Well. Eight. What was yours, uh, Manise? Well, uh, Manise and Taryn roll off. Oh boy, so winner takes all. Roll off. I got a oh, 10. No, you're gonna get it because that's four. Please, as you uh, scan the crowd, you notice the familiar visage of one Cagney Lacey, uh, local guard captain. She spots you and uh, 
shakes her head and says, Trouble just seems to find you guys, doesn't it? The li- mm. Such is the life of French a French onion soup! No soup for you. Did you, did you go down the street and get the French onion soup? Best in the city. Yeah. Not I anymore. Mean, you, bought it, you bought it for me. Uh, Dewey and Taryn, you notice that Manise has made contact with the familiar guard captain that you've dealt with before. She asks you if you guys have any room to go to next or if you need assistance. Probably uh, need assistance. Probably we need to find him. Find who? Our fourth. You keep mentioning this fourth person, but I have yet to see him. That's probably the way he wants it. He's he not could have been the person who set everything on fire. <laughs> he does set fires. <laughs> he sets a lot of fires. Yeah, well, perhaps I need to meet your friend. Well, you know, once he destroyed an entire bridge with a lightning bolt. Great. Oh, that was, and it was a major bridge between two. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. <laughs> the major bridge probably destroyed the economy of that poor hobgoblin village. Was, Simon's I was, hollow. I was, I was just going to ask, I was going to say, would do we really blow up something to, you know, screw us over? And you just brought that. I'm like, yep, yep no, I'm not going to ask it now because the answer is yes. <laughs> she uh, burned this down. She will offer to set you up in a room down at the Drunken Mariner, if you'd like. It's not the best, but it will allow you guys the opportunity to go ahead and get some rest for the night. Maybe uh, wash up. I mean, I'd like that, but we got to find a way so that we don't have eyes falling. I know how to do this. Lucas, we're at the Drunken Mariner. Not actually. (laughs) That would be a move. You do that to punch you. uh, She's going to punch you right in the... Punch. (laughs) Punch. Punch you. Uh, Okay. uh, Well, you know, she's made the offer. Uh, She goes back to directing her men and women trying to get the uh, fire brigade started. You and several other refugees, uh, some of which uh, Dewey and Taryn actually saved in a strangely heroic move for some reason. I'm I'm not sure what happened last week. Uh, They again uh, thank you, uh, tell you that uh, they are in your debt, uh, and they certainly appreciate you saving their lives. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you don't know how bad that that I think is what has been stuck in my throat all day long. Uh, so it hasn't been. Yeah, so I want to take. A, <laughs> I want to take. This is really paying a, off. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I, I just want to take her up in her offer, though. One or the other. No, I I do. Yeah, we'll take her up on the offer. Okay, she she is going to lead you through the streets, uh, flanked with two more guards. Oh God, I feel like I put my hood up so that hopefully I'm trying not to burn any more spell slots. Taryn, I, give me a D twelve. Oh boy! Come on, pirate doc dice, don't fall. Or feel me now. Uh, seven. Three. Ah, uh, fair enough. You guys begin to walk. <sighs> I shudder to do this, but I will fucking do it again. Uh, yeah. You guys are here at the laughing uh, mine. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, laughing mine. She is going to wander you through this green you, which is, I'm sure, the start of something, and she's going to be taking you to this location, the Drunken Mariner. Uh, As you guys began to wander back and forth, uh, Maniz, you are the only one who's made any definitive effort to keep an eye out for the nefarious individuals spotted at the Shrine of Ickes. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. I assume you are still actively searching. I was going to ask right on someone's shoulders. Sorry, go ahead. What was it, Chris? You want to get mine? 
One more time. Nat 20. There you go. Uh, you spot a figure leaping from rooftop to rooftop. It is probably Legolas the elf or Lucas. <laughs> He's right there. Look. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I look. <would. laughs> Uh, in the full moon and fleeing beneath, from the scene of the crime. <laughs> beneath, <laughs> beneath Actually, I, I'm fleeing towards the crime. It's a little oh different. My God. <laughs> I guess we'll wait until we get. Uh, Cagney, Cagney Lacey says, is, is, is this the fire starter? No. It's a fire starter, yes. I mean, why would he be ru- running around the roofs? I mean, do you guys recognize me? I do have my hood up and my face covered. <laughs> well, there you go. I wouldn't know. Well, then that guy looks really <laughs> suspicious, ain't <anyway. laughs> you? I don't Let's know. Just you shoot me. him with arrows and ask questions <laughs> later. Hey, I do. Or I'll fire off some. Uh... <laughs> did, you you, did you say you wanted a ride? How far? How far is he? Uh, he is going. I assume you're going to be tailing them, Lucas? Yeah, but I'm going to try <laughs> and eventually do it out of so do I sight just see of the guards on the, the ground. one person, or do I see the people he is chasing? Just the one? Just the one. Uh, the guards are having to move through. They he's, he's effectively going to lose them unless he botches a jump. No, God, don't do that. I'll try not to. Is this on, on how far he is? Uh, he is on the wrong side of the street, uh, and this is just in time for his first jump, jumping across to the tavern that had the French onion soup. Yep, Would acrobatics. I within, thought that place was on fire and burned down. That's no. not the end. Okay. The next one he's going <laughs> to... Manise with your 20 combined with <laughs> Lucas's seven as he leaps and catches a balcony right across the chest and oh. begins to. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. It's just Lucas. We're good. <laughs> Lucas, give me a strength save to see if you can hang on to the balcony. There's a statue there and you grab him by the. Six. <laughs> the twig and berries. Six? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I get a plus one strength, man. Oh, God. Well, good news is, uh, trying to jump to the third floor, you have managed to hit yourself in the face on the third floor balcony. Crash landed on the second. Give me another strength check to see if you can hang on to the second, or you're going to take uh, more damage. 17. Uh, you take two hit points of damage falling from level three to level two and land with a loud thud on balcony number two. Uh, in this location is the proprietor of the tavern uh, and his wife, in flagrante, uh, and they are not happy that there is a voyeur out on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> You hear a scream, a yell, and he says, where'd I put my axe? Oh, God, run! Comes out with a can and starts spraying your face. <coughs> uh, I, I obviously am not going to stay here long. You are on the second floor, so you can make a leap over to the canopy and then down to the deck if you would like. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? That sounds good. Acrobatics? Acrobatics twice. Mom. First acrobatics was a 17. Okay. And the second acrobatics was an eight. Uh, very oh, nice. You collide with a guard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look before I leapt. Uh, he came out from underneath the canopy. Oh, that's fair. Uh, you knock him to the ground, so you are going to have a little bit of time to recover. At the far end, uh, you see the guards who have been giving you chase. They are fat, overweight guards, as most city cops are, and they are starting to pant and heave heavily. Uh, your elven abilities, even with the crushed chest plate, uh, will give you an advantage to get around. You know that the easiest way to your friends is the opposite direction of the guards and hang a left. Oh, that sounds great. I am... Um, uh... Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to go that way then. Okay. Uh, Manise, after pointing out to Cagney Lacey, the suspect on the rooftops, 
uh, she and the other guards do not see them anymore. They did spot them when you pointed them out, <clears throat> but the individual's lost. Uh, they're going to chalk it up to some kind of apparition and continue down the street, leading you to the drunken mariner. Lucas, as you flee from the guards, you come up to the raging inferno that was the inn of the laughing mu or laughing mime. And you hang a left. Ahead of you, you see three cloaked figures and three guard types. You surmise that the one of them that was waving at you is probably an associate of yours. Huh. I, uh, so they haven't seen me yet, right? Correct. You are behind them. I, uh, cast invisibility. Okay. And uh, follow you them. You are, weaving, you are weaving your way through uh, the crowd easily. Give me a uh, perception check, though. Perception. <laughs> 21. Uh, you notice that three people are on the opposite side of the street, moving shadow to shadow, somewhat following them. Oh, cool. I'm going to try and keep an eye on them as I follow them. My party. Maniz, Taryn, and Dewey, uh, the guard captain, leads you through the winding streets, and eventually you arrive at the port uh, area, and you see a sign, kind of tilted, kind of old, kind of faded, that says the drunken mariner. She, Cagney, Lacey, turns around and says, uh, it's not the best, but at least you can grab a rack and Regain your strength if you need it. See? See, Dewey? No dick NPC <coughs> yet. Uh, she uh, offers to let you guys go in. Uh, she said uh, they don't really like guards in here, so make sure you lock your door. And in the moonlight out in the bay, you see a string of Fulton Navy vessels. Uh, and silhouetted against it, you see a statue of the founder of Yaddle. Kind of like the Statue of Liberty. Um, I'd like to make a. I'd like to scan around and look to see if I see our three friends that I don't. I mean, I don't know necessarily they're following us, but I want to, look to see because I don't trust that they aren't following us. Investigation. They, they just flushed us out, so eh, it's not. Well, it's not terrible, but oh, that's an eighteen. Uh there are not three friends. There are four tailing you. Well, is one, are they together or is one like, okay, Luke is separate? No, I'm invisible. There's yes, invisible. one, two, three, oh, shit. four. All right. Uh, are, the, are the guards and um, Cagney Lacey leaving? Yes. <clears throat> they have successfully navigated you through. Uh, you have been allowed to, of course, move, even though they're is a lockdown on the city because of course your place burned down. Yeah, I will say very quietly to the other two. I think we have a problem. I think I think our we're being failed. And I'll kind of try to unobtrusively point them out. Now they have another if that is them, but who else would be out? So, uh you guys go in. Okay. Do, we go, do we need another plan because they'll just come and burn this place too or attack us in our beds or wow miss glass is half empty <laughs> like i see it and it's they already did it why would i expect them to let us rest that's true it, that it's up to it's up to you guys you guys tell me what you want to do we could get a room and then, and then you could turn us all invisible, and we can sneak out, and you can send a message to to, to Lucas and figure out where we should stay, and we'll go there invisibly. That's a good. I was thinking along those those lines. Although I, I know I'd like to find out where Lucas is. I don't okay. know how. I did say that. Yeah, I know. Um, okay. We I don't mean to be a prank, but 
they're right there. So, I mean, we could go in. We don't even have to book a room. We could just go in and wait a few minutes and come back out invisible. I think it's a good plan. Uh, Popeye behind the uh, desk wants to know, are you staying or you're going or, or what are you doing? You'd be an invisible. <laughs> if you're going to turn invisible, I expect to be paid first. I'd like your best spinach, please. Spinach mine. At 11 o'clock. At, what time is it? 11 o'clock? Midnight. Midnight. I'm at sorry. Midnight. Did you haul people out of a burning building? <laughs> I'm hungry. You smell like soot. Get it? <laughs> How long do you want to stay in here then? Are you getting a room or not? No, we think it'd be safer for you, for all involved here, and ourselves to not. Then get out. Are you ready to do this, guys? All right, so I will cast a. Sorry, I hand him 10 gold coins and ask if there's a back door that we might use instead. Yeah, it's in the back. Thanks. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do you want me to cast visibility on us? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, <laughs> let's leave the back door. That way they don't see a door swinging. No, and, that's. Uh, that was, I got, actually understood that's exactly what you meant. That was a good idea. Um, it's but, like I'm the intelligent character in this party. Right, because the invisible Lucas should be able to find the invisible threesome as they go out invisibly out the back well, fucking door. <laughs> but did Minis actually know it was Lucas? Those no, trailing he just assumed correctly. Yeah. So, I mean, we don't know he's trailing us. You don't, for no. sure. So um, I will cast. I will cast it, and then we'll go out the back door. And, and Lucas, you got the message, right? I didn't send one yet. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. mine. <clears throat> uh, Lucas, you see what you see, and you see the group go into the drunken mariner. Uh, you notice that uh, a pair of guards have been posted on the corner, and they sit in the shadows hidden from any guards that might be wandering by. You also get to a point in the city where you notice you are at the docks. The moonlight shines atop the uh, statue in the harbor, along with the row of Fulton warships. Uh, cool. I mean, I guess I have no reason to leave this spot for now, so I'm going to keep watch. Fair enough. Uh, you guys go out the back door. Uh as you do so, uh, you are in a urine-soaked alley. A, you scare a cat, uh, and it crashes into some metal trash cans because, fuck it, why not? Uh, and makes a loud clamor before running off. Because my deck sucks. When do you want me to? <laughs> when do you want me to message him now? Message me what? Where are you going? You I'm guys. Are Wait, you're there? You guys are here. No, I'm just out of character. Like, why would you message me now? <laughs> what are you going to tell me? You don't even know where uh, you're going. I forget where the fuck you are. I still don't know you're here. We don't know you're here. Yeah. That's what I'm messaging you. Where the fuck are you? And where are you staying? Um, I. So let me, let me, for the record, then I'm going to use uh, sending. I, I can't read the blue. What's it say? Semen love here. Yeah. <laughs> there goes all my third level spells. Hey, I'll go. So I'll go. Hey, Lucas. We are at the backside of. We actually, no, wait. Cancel that. Lucas, um, what inn are you staying at? We need to find you. Our inn has been burned down. Uh, the cult of Sentua is following us, and we need rest. Where Stop. Are you? Send money. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so how many characters do I have, or how many words can I respond with? A tweet. <laughs> so I said, Lucas, probably about, probably at that point, like somewhere 10 to 15, I think, is where I left off. I know it's normally 25. So many oh. rooms interrupted me. I would probably just keep rambling on to get to 25 words. 
I, um, I was giving you all the noose you wanted. Shut up. I, I respond, um, I was tailing you. I'm in front of the drunken mariner. Uh, there are four people following you to split off. I say, dude, he's out front somewhere. Invisible. Invisible. I did he say him. invisible or no? No, I did not. <laughs> I just Whoops. said I'm in front of a building. <laughs> I can't see him anywhere. Oh my god, this is gonna Lucas. be so <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like two invisible parties trying to find each other. Great. I love this situation. Wait, Great I use of that it? spell slot, Taryn. Wait, didn't I say in the back? I know I started to. And it probably would have my mics the words were at the back of the end. <laughs> yes, you did say that you were at the back of the end. Okay, so you know we're behind the end right and now. And you know I'm in front of the end. Yeah, but... but <laughs> message, message over. Me Mes message over. <laughs> this, this is this is out of... You know, you also know that there are four guys looking at the front of the end, so maybe it behoove you to come to the back where they where they are not looking. That would be a wise decision. Them. Let me roll a wisdom check to see if I make that deduction. <laughs> hey, since we're invisible, why don't we just have Maniz fly us to the roof of the Drunken Mariner and we can see if we can spot Lucas from up there. So I, I did roll a 19 on that wisdom check. So I will decide to circle around back behind the Mariner. Invisible. <laughs> uh, roll a dex check as a cat comes flying out of the darkened alley at you. Ooh, dex check. 18. You see it coming and you uh, step aside. Uh, it runs out into the main street where the uh, watchers are at. Uh, you get to the back of the Mariners, or the drunken Mariner, and go, fucking bitch lied. <laughs> I will start like, sh like sh um, scraping the ground. Lucas, so there's a ghost in the alley. I need you to roll initiative against it. <laughs> oh, yeah. for fuck's sakes. It's you know a how my character reacts, Taryn. <laughs> Why do you do this? It's a just while cow. we're invisible, I just tug on Taryn's invisible. <sighs> Did Lucas say when he was going to get back here? Do I hear that? Oh, he didn't even tell me. He, it would have been nice if he answered my message with where the hell he was. That would I did. He did. Uh, he did. He said he at the front of the end. <laughs> yeah. right, uh, uh, Kyle straight up, or I'm sorry, Dewey straight up D20, Lucas straight up D20. So Seven. we are, so we are talking. Yes, Lucas, you uh, you gain the insight on uh, that sounds like Dewey, and it sounds like he's over there. You look, he ain't over there. You're Dewey, like Dewey. Are you are you here? I I'm invisible. So I assume we all hear this. Oh, Lucas, right? we're invisible too. <gasps> we're all invisible together. Let's see what else you guys hear. Everybody, roll perception checks. Oh God. They, they start talking too, right? Hey. Uh, uh, I rolled a five. <laughs> Tara, Tara and Lucas hear boot, uh, the sound of booted feet coming down the alley investigating the scared cat. Shit. Do I feel like it's our followers or do I feel like it's the guy? You have no idea who it is. So you should lightning bolt the entire area. Uh, no. I don't have lightning bolts and I <laughs> That was Fireball Lucas. it is, then. I have Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to drop invisibility to cast Lightning Bolt, I think. No, don't. don't, don't, don't. We need to sneak up. Lucas, where the hell are you staying? We need do, to sneak do the Romulan. Shoot it, and then just go visible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? I, I actually don't remember the name then, actually. Uh, uh, are you saying this while you're hearing booted footsteps coming towards no, you? No, I'm not having a conversation. Like, she that is. defeats the purpose yeah, of invisibility. I'm not. Well, so I'm like trying to do this really quietly. We're that, because in case we get separated, we're all invisible. That is a. D D20 against me, Taryn. I wonder where the hell we're going. 17. Oh, that's a nine. Uh, the boots, the sounds of boots stop, and you hear, I heard somebody. I, I'm, I'm going to back up very quietly against the wall out of the way, so if they come charging in here, they don't barrel me over. You see a pair of individuals 
You still can't tell who they are. Uh, they have weapons in hand, and one of them reaches into a belt pouch and begins to throw what appears to be flour into the air. Are they dealing <laughs> with invisible people all the time in this city? Yeah, come I on. Guess. That could be guards. Do they look like guards or do they look like the three punch Sha like shadow two shadowy figures? Do they could be like adventurers. Yeah, but remember, I remember what the sensory guys look like. I saw them. Do they look oh. like you see just the shadowy outline of these two? Oh, I see. Um, I want to. You're gonna, in a dark alley with a full moon above you. I'm gonna. I want to make a stealth check to back start backing out away from them. Huh? I'll. I will kind of put my hands in there too, just to give an indication that I'm backing out. So you guys, you guys are well. They, it doesn't matter. They can't see you. Right. <laughs> hey guys. But it's crazy, but it's crazy noisy. They can certainly hear. So. <sighs> Is if you're invisible, what is that a plus 10 to the check or just I don't know, make the roll? <laughs> I think it's like plus 10 or something like that. Add advantage, or, or, is it, or is it advantage? Just straight advantage. Fine, I'll do it that way. That's fine. You got to choke in order. I'm sorry, are you to using your pathfinder effect? rules? Nice. No. No, that's I believe. I believe uh, I that's a plus what... 20 in case you didn't know that, Carol. <laughs> Probably is. All right. Well, at advantage, that's 17. You uh, managed to back up against the wall. Uh, Manise and Dewey, give me uh, another perception check, please. I'm heading away from Two. them. 15. Uh, I'm just going to keep talking to Taryn and Lucas like they're still there. The pair of individuals are throwing this powdery substance through the alley and with their last throw Dewey make a con check because <laughs> oh shit <laughs> uh 15 that's Reno constitution right there and yeah. Skibby <laughs> uh the pair of individuals Continue to walk down the alley, and the one says audibly, I'm out of the powder. What do you say? Sorry. Out of the powder. So they start to swing their weapons in front of them as they continue past you guys down the alley. Uh, as they pass you. How high are they swinging their weapons? Like, is a they're, Dewey they, small enough to. They're humans, so it's yeah. just outright. Uh, as they pass by you, they aren't guards, and they aren't cult of sensua. And I will take uh, olfactory check. Give me perception. Are they from Fulton? Natural twenty. Eight. Uh, what perception? Or twenty. Twenty-two. Uh, Thirteen. What? What was Lucas and Taryn? Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Uh, and Thanks Manise has a me up, guys. Uh, all, all of you, well, you had the nat 20. All of you can smell uh, brine as these two walk past. Oh, they're semen. Mm. Correct. Mm. You, oh, she's looking for us. Salty semen. Oh. <laughs> like, are they dressed for the people in this town or like semen from. Uh, from Open. a blockade. <laughs> uh, you smell brine. They are dressed in dark cloaks. Do they look like they're from Fulton? You cannot tell faces. Not faces. Garb. Yeah, the garb. Uh, no, no, it's it there there's definitely no connotation as to where they're from or who they're with. Definitely not. They're looking for it. They're looking for us. Uh, Lucas, these are not the two that were standing out there. Hmm. Moving on, uh, the two individuals walk to the other end of the alley, do the peak, and go around to the right. So they're headed back towards the dock area. <clears throat> Guys, we gotta go. 
did we ever figure out if Taryn's evil sister left port and went back to the blockade or is she hanging out at the docks waiting to get the, uh, yeah, you, you guys saw uh, approximately Jack and shit since you didn't take the bait and go down to the docks. We have, we have well, I was no. just wondering if maybe we learned that information <laughs> from uh, the captain. You have yeah. not learned any information. Okay. And I'm not contacting her. I don't want, I mean, maybe she knows I'm here, but I, if she doesn't, I don't want her to know I'm here. Oh, I was going to say you should pretend to be her and you'll either scare the guys away or find out if they work for her or not we get more information yeah with, with the two guard with the two guys walking down the alley you guys now can look around and feel that it is safe to go ahead and communicate again hoping that lucas and or the trio are still present lucas you st are you still here yes <laughs> um can you can you take us? <laughs> what? Can you take us to where you're staying? I assume you still have a room. Uh, yes. I'm say. sticking out my hand. Hold my hand. I will lead you there. I reach out. Aaron, Lucas, Maniz, where are you guys? You hear from 15 I feet from the other side of the alley. Hey, everybody. Are you still in the alley? <laughs> I'm yeah, obviously so not shouting. So we eventually, using your voice, I will hopefully find you. And then using, you know, Lucas. Said, so <laughs> because you are the same height. Yeah, so you touch hands. Yeah. Dewey, do you want to see if you can grab Lucas's hand? I'll, I'll raise it above my head. Damn it. <laughs> of course, <laughs> they might raise it down a little bit lower, and I'm going to get slapped in the face. Minis? Manise has no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Where is everyone? All four of you join hands and you're off to see the wizard. Would you like to go out the other way from the two or towards where the two left? So if we go to where the two left but then take a left, that's towards my inn, right? Correct. Yeah, let's go that way. I, I'm leading the group, so they're following me. I'm going that way. Yeah, no, we absolutely will follow. So, as you come out of this alley right here, uh, you are in full view of the docks. I will take perception check by everybody as you make sure the coast is clear. Oh, oh that's fourteen. Sixteen. Another natural twenty. Wow, you five. Servant man. What was yours, Lucas? Twenty-five. You you what? can ask. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, all of you notice uh, a pair of dead guards. Oh. Ooh. oh Wait, and, and, and a longboat. Interesting. A long boat? A longboat. Whoa. Boat. Oh. What is a longboat doing in the middle of the street? <clears throat> uh, it is lashed to a post, not to any of the slips. Um, I, I, I make the, the two hands I'm holding, I, I put them together so they hold each other's hands and Where then I, and then I, I hold their wrist. So then I have a free hand free. Oh, that's fair. Or you know what? Is and now I go up and inspect the dead guards for loot. <laughs> Rather than that, I just take my hand and I put it on your shoulder. So you have a free hand. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. And Everyone, I take my hand and I put it on your junk. That <laughs> sounds like a good plan as well. <laughs> and I, I loot the guards. <laughs> and I move forward and I pull back. And I move forward and I pull back. And I'm old and I'm tired. I'm done. I'll loot the guards. Uh, as you start to pat down the guards, you find each one has a whistle. Uh, they have been stabbed and clubbed. Uh, Taryn, Maniz... Dewey, give me investigation checks since I assume yeah. you are keeping watch. Oh, yes. Because the guards 18. are to the right. No, actually, apparently I'm paying 11. attention to what Lucas is doing because uh, I rolled in that one. Uh, Taryn's busy. Maniz is looking left, but Dewey is looking right. Uh, Dewey, 
The two shadowy figures are over to the right. There are two shadowy figures on the left headed this way. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. <laughs> oh my God, guys, there's guards coming this way. <laughs> um, I, I whisper, off we go, keep quiet. And then D12 against me, Lucas. Let's see if you got anything off these guys. I def- 11. Three. Uh, you got uh, 30 gold pieces, 15 from each. Nice. Cool. And I got a whistle. Two whistles, or one or two whistles. It's up to you. Yeah, Take whistles. Take them up. Uh, are you guys moving off or are you going to remain invisible? We're going to remain stationary. I'm remaining invisible, but I'm moving. Okay. Yeah, out I'm of gonna... the way of these approaching figures. Are you moving like, left towards your inn or just trying to hide back into the shadows? Uh, towards my inn. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Dewey, you've got the reach around going. Uh, Manese, you're also holding I feel like shoulder. we should revisit episode three or four. <laughs> drill a few holes in this boat. Just uh-huh. to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and the evidence stays. No. Let's just go. I do remember that. But Lucas is leaving. Yeah, no, we gotta go. Come on. I got at least five minutes. No, let's go. <clears throat> You're dragged along. Uh, you move down the street. Uh, somewhere a town crier yells out, one o'clock, it all still sucks. Um, and you make your way back towards uh, the bridal suite at, was it the Hilton? And the Hilton head. Yeah, I don't know. I forget what it was. I'm sure I've got it written somewhere. Uh, I assume you're just going to make a uh, straight shot there. Yeah. You will see a few guards uh, moving about in general patrol. Uh, you will overhear one group of guards going, I know that son of a bitch is still on the rooftop somewhere. You know what? I, I think he peed on me. Uh <laughs> You finally reach your inn after some negotiation. Uh, being stealthy is going to take you a little bit longer. Man. You're guessing it's probably 1.30. It all still sucks. <coughs> back to uh, the inn? All right. Back to the inn. Uh, do you uh, visualize yourself before or just open the door and do the uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost entering the building? Um. I'll keep us invisible. M- M- Maniz flies up to the second floor, that open window. That's my my room. All right. Um, fly me up first. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then I, Maniz flies me up to my room. <laughs> and now, uh, Maniz, can you go back and find those other two invisible people? No. All <laughs> okay. right, I'll try. I'll try. I will. I'll. I'll be well, like. Well, I can hear them. Could I not? Like they could. Call I'll me. make sure I make. I'll hum. I. I, I am certain that Taryn is talking. <laughs> no. no not. Um. I will whistle. Oh God! It's it's night. There's no birds around. I will kind of quietly whistle as best. Caw, I can. Caw, caw. <laughs> no. Ooh. How many licks does it take to get to the door of attention? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Carol doesn't know what the animals here, but I mean, with Taryn, I've never been to Yaddle. You're you're a bard. You have no idea. Can um, I climb up and no, get the window? Fine. I want to make, fine. I'll make a, I'd like to make a deception check to... Uh, Acrobatics. Go ahead and make your deception check. It, it is a, a dock town, so there's probably seagulls. I do make Pelicans. a very interesting bird sound. 27, 16, 18. You're on 21. the balcony. Uh, Taryn, you make ha 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 uh, all four of you are now in the very spacious, very high quality uh, room that Perpetua obtained. Uh, Lucas, keep in mind, uh, you haven't paid for tomorrow, so. Eh, that's fine. 
I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna regain visibility and lay on the bed. Be like, what's up, yeah, guys? I'm gonna. Re- I'll, I'll drop it too, so we can all see each other. Lucas in his most provocative uh, pose. <laughs> Do these pants make me look impressive? <laughs> what pants? It's just the fold. <laughs> well, that's uh, what I was holding on to. The fold. <laughs> Uh, you guys are now in safe space. Uh, the door is still locked. Lucas still has the key to it. You guys may now rest accordingly. <coughs> uh, Dewey, Maniz, how long do you guys need? Like eight hours. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, need the uh, next four hours. <laughs> okay. How do, you, how do you do this? How do you adjudicate as a DM? Do we have to start over or do we count the three hours we already got? I'm going to allow the three hours that you guys. Okay, have. so that's like yeah. So then we only need what? They need five, and I need one. Right. Yeah. So, question: When is curfew over? Sunrise. All right. Cool. And when is sunrise? Six thirty. Oh, in five hours exactly. Perfect. That is, that's amazing. It's weird how that shit works out. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to rest again too so I get that one spell slot back and okay. the two hit points I may need them uh, Taryn are you just going to sleep the whole five hours like the others or are you going to wake up um, you, are, you are in a safe space I know but I just got a lot to think about right now this is a little much uh, she'll get the hour but it won't be Great, or right, then I'll go all five hours and then be crappy uh, rest because, of course, she doesn't. <laughs> Can I make a um, and I didn't say this while we were there from the boat any way to identify said longboat if it has like a little name on it or a no. symbol or emblem? It didn't no have any of those, yeah. Okay, it's a longboat what? used uh, for military and merchant ships. Wait, question Did it look like the boat that we uh, sent back out to sea? We put that on fire. It did not. Yeah. It looked interesting. So didn't, I mean, actually, we didn't know where that first boat came from. So that may have been a leap of logic to try to figure out if it was from Fulton or something else. <laughs> a fair question. Uh, but yes, you. it did not look like the boat of the dead fisherman. Uh, hmm. And it did not have a nameplate on it. Okay. So. Uh, dawn breaks anew and it is 6.30 in the morning light is filtering in because it is fall uh, and the crispness in the air indicates might be rain today perfect um, I let everyone know we need to hurry to the town square I have a contact that said they would lead us to the catacombs alright the sooner we <sighs> get this done the sooner we can get out of the city not that going to Fulton is really any of a step up, but. Uh, are you guys going out the window or downstairs? Um, let's fuck it. Let's go downstairs and confuse everyone with the extra people that magically appeared. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, I'm going to uh, stop at the front desk and uh, pay for another night. Very good. Uh, you'll notice that the innkeeper on duty last night. It's not the same innkeeper on duty this morning. Uh, they gladly up your room for another night. Uh, look down. Okay. Uh, How much? Enjoy your day. Uh, 25. 25? Yeah. Whoa. Uh, you're, you're in the bridal suite. You had a net gain of five gold for last exactly. night. Exactly. I did find 30 gold last night. So <laughs> Make sure you leave a good tip. Yeah, Blake. Uh, the maid. All, always a decent tip. Blake uh, made sure that he got the best of the best. Uh, as you go outside, you notice people are moving rather rapidly uh, towards the center of town for some reason. Uh, oh. There's kind of a buzz going on. Hey, guys, that's where we're going to meet my contact. So let's hurry up. I am putting up my hood and staying as far back in it to try not to. I don't want people to see who I am. I'll ride on Taryn's shoulders to help a- distract from her face. An eight-foot person is one. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm obviously going to be a gnome, but I'm going to be a distraction gnome. No, wait, wait. 
why don't we put you on my shoulders? We put, put the cloak over your head and I just peek out through the thing. So I'm now like a seven foot tall person or eight, whatever. Andre the Giant. Yeah. Okay, to be fair, Taryn's probably what, like five, two, four, nine? Oh, Dewey yeah, is she's two L, foot five, tall. Five. Yeah. She's not that tall. No, she's, she, no, she's probably about five, five. Uh, as you guys... Head towards down the street, uh, you reach the main square, and you notice that it is full of people, uh, and it ain't merchants. Uh, something is going on here, uh, and you notice uh, there is a wide berth around the statue in the center of the plaza. You will notice... Uh, are there bodies hanging from the statue? That's what I want to find out. There are oh. not. Heads hanging from the statues. There, uh, you guys did not meet the individual, so you don't know who it is. A uh, ruler-looking type dude is there on a makeshift uh, podium. Uh, he, there's uh, two women, three guys, and they are anxiously looking around down the major thoroughfares. Everybody perception check. All right, do it again for me, baby. 17. Seven. Oh, God. Two. <laughs> Only Lucas's keen elven ears pick up the sound of trumpets Ooh. heading your way. Like army trumpets? Like army trumpets. Coming from outside the city, the water, which direction? Uh, outside the city, land-based, and you start to hear applause down the main drag. <gasps> oh! Yay! Oh! I applaud! Um, I'm putting three and three together. Is yeah. this Bushmill for, ch for chance? A man on a white charger, an aged man, <laughs> but still with a military bearing, leads a column of troops into the city you will recognize this individual as lord bushmill has made it into yaddle he is waving with a very determined look on his face as he enters the plaza his men colonnade off forming a square around him uh the aged warrior uh leaps off his horse and heads right for the raised platform. The five governmental people are... Uh, and you guys are being held back by pikemen uh, who don't give two shits about anything that what? looks like they marched all night long. I, Wait, I, I question. Dewey, it's like Dewey's way up here. Yeah. And Bushmel knows who we are. Does he see him above the crowd? Does not give two shits at the crowd. Wow. Do I see Sonora? <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check at disadvantage because there are a lot of people here. Everybody knew Bushmill was coming, but you guys. At no, disadvantage. No. That is a nine. You think you see her, but then she disappears. Okay. I'm going to keep looking for Sonora because this enough. is where we're supposed to be somewhere. Uh, the military trumpets stop. A large cavalry unit enters the square of pikemen. Uh, they, uh, some of them don't look that great. Uh, some of them look like they've been in a rather serious battle. There are a few empty horses, no riders. Uh, Lord Bushmill goes up. He is at the far side of the parade grounds, uh, and he is clearly talking to these five governmental officials, but nobody, you guys, can hear what they are saying. Aaron, Taryn, it's Lord Bushmill. We could I see know. if he could help with your sister and possibly getting us some uh, into the into the, into the the catacombs of Icus. I, I, I think no, I, I have a contact, yeah. Lucas, that, investigation. If he can Disadvantage? Find, I don't know, it's that's... Did you tell us it was Sonora, by the way? Not, not no, one. No, you you guys don't know a Sonora. She was working at the inn. <laughs> no, did you tell us that who it was at some point? Because we no, heard... I just said I have a contact. Oh, okay, that's fair. All right, that's all I wanted to know because that changes what I would say. I feel yep. like our contact would be better. 
Lord you don't Bushmill, have he's already talking with the big cheese. No, no, I trust in Lucas. If Lucas found somebody, I think it's going to be good. Probably better than that. If we have to go more legal routes, then we will. But I want to see what he has. The discussion is over as Lord Bushmill and the five walk into the area. No. <laughs> Go into the governmental building here, marked five. Uh, the second in command goes ahead and begins to order the military disperse and set up camp. They are setting up camp right in the middle of the market square, so there's not going to be any uh, available. I hate you guys. <laughs> uh, so your Lord Bushmill contact has uh, removed himself from the playing area. The pikemen retract and everybody begins to set up tents. They are going to turn the plaza into a military encampment. Lucas, one more time at disadvantage. Come on, Lucas. Another nat one. We see the captain, by the way. The yes. <gasps> the second in command. Yeah. Oh, is no. Uh, uh, the guard captain we met last night, who was like, "Yeah, you're obviously a twin sister." You do not see oh. Cagney Lacey. Cagney Lacey. I should write that down. You know what, Frank? This is the Cagney. campaign. I'm gonna write so, it down right now. As a matter of fact, you guys. Oh no, I Lucas, have Lacey Cagney. Uh, Lucas has his head up his ass. You. Everybody else realizes there are no town guards here at all like they're investigating a murder scene somewhere else or this is going to be a soon slaughter or uh they were all killed last night there are several avenues to determine uh fortunately lucas despite your poor roles you hear oh i i turn towards the sound pulling her cloak back you recognize the image of sonora and then she lowers her cloak again. She is over by the uh, House of Lucky. Oh, I like that place. The Fortuna <laughs> Temple. Yeah, I, I uh, grab my three colleagues. I'm like, hey, my contact's here. Let's go. Okay. Uh, you see so her. interesting information about the House of Lucky. Last night, a man leaving the House of Lucky was shot with a crossbow bolt. He wasn't very lucky, was he? <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Right out of the sky. Uh, <laughs> as you uh, head towards her, she goes into uh, Temple of Fortuna. Oh, let's go into the temple. That's where she just <clears throat> went. Do I really need to make an insight to know you really don't want to go in the temple? Why? I've been in that temple. That Those people in that temple like me. I spent good money there. Okay. I think he's that, full of shit. And that's also where the whores were at. Uh, yeah, because he's trying to... <clears throat> Uh, I have an insight of higher than negative, you know, 10. Uh, as you go into the Temple of Fortuna, uh, the lucky brothers walk up to you. Hello, will you be gambling today? Uh, I might in a little bit. I was actually looking for someone. I gamble every day of my life. I'll, I'll be I'll be right back as I want to go speak to my uh, friend. Uh, Manis, Taryn, and Kyle, you are now being peppered with questions as to, do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punks? Not particularly right now. Uh, do I feel lucky? Do you, punk? That's a great question. How do you lucky do you people feel? I do indeed. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, why are we playing some Russian roulette here? <laughs> Manis, uh, are you going to... Uh, how are you going to handle the brothers of Fortuna? I feel lucky. Here to uh, test your luck in the eyes of Fortuna? Sure. Oh, Fortuna, thou art lucky. Get it? See how I added that in there? Which always blocks out Fortuna. Uh, if you're going to gamble, take 3d20 and add them up. Uh, Lucas, give me a perception check to see if you spot her. Holy shit. Two ones and an 11. <laughs> Woo! You spot her. 28. 29. Beating a uh, 
14 or uh, 13, <laughs> you guys win five gold. Nice. <laughs> Ah, uh, Sensua does not, or I'm sorry, not Sensua. Sensua! Uh, Sonora oh is praying at a statue of Fortuna and never raises her head, but calmly talks to you in a low voice. How may I help you, my friend? Uh, I am looking for the catacombs with my three colleagues. There is only one entrance that hasn't been destroyed. Um... Can you lead me to this entrance? I can, but I will not. Uh, I can give you directions. Hopefully you can... And a brother of Fortuna kind of passes by. You and your friends should be able to find it. You seem like reasonably intelligent individuals. Uh, another round, you guys? Yeah! Yeah! <sighs> not much better. 36. Uh, 34. Woohoo! 38. Oh, fine. You know what? I'll play. Let's no, see. no. I'm a giant seven foot tall person. Oh, never mind. We're still doing that. <laughs> you would have got off. Right, fine. Uh, five more gold if you beat uh, the Brothers of Fortuna who are not having a good day. Lucas, uh, Sonora still never raises her head, never raises her voice, and says, down by the docks, there is a place called the Drunken Mariner. It is a pit of iniquity. Across the street, you will find the Duke of Ellington Bard Shop. That is the only place that still has an entrance to the crypt that has not been destroyed by the Cult of Sensua. Uh, if you opt to enter there, be careful. It is well guarded. Gets up. Make, makes the holy symbol <laughs> and walks out. <laughs> uh, Brothers of Fortuna are getting kind of pissed. Uh, they ask you one more throw. Uh, uh, I'd like to raise the stakes uh -huh. to 20 gold a person. <clears throat> Fair. Who's, uh, who's gambling? Yeah. Shit. This is going to require math. Uh, <laughs> ah, 22. 42. I lost. Ten. What do I lose? Five gold? Good luck, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lucas, you can rejoin your compatriots who just lost everything they had gained. And then some. Uh... Cool. I swing by the my compatriots. I'm like, uh, maybe we should uh, leave while uh, before you lose too much. Uh, we'll we'll definitely come back though. Taryn, Maniz, Dewey, you do not notice this contact person leaving. Uh, I really missed a Rain Man moment there for Dewey. <laughs> Haynes, Haynes underwear, three pack, three pack of Kmart. Three pack of Kmart four gold. Uh, Lucas. Just told you what he's got. Um, uh, w once we're out of earshot, well, are they following me outside? Are you guys coming outside of the temple yeah. with me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the gnome. They're the rich gnome. <laughs> <laughs> the sisters three, the hookers are back, Dewey. Uh, 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 no, no. I'm a seven foot tall person. <laughs> they recognize this. This is your money maker for them. It is. They're going to know. Because they're like, look at that big man. Ooh, it's our friend. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any more money for us, our friend? Or do you have time to... 30 gold! Run! Scatters it. Uh, the soldiers there who are trying to make time with the ladies, they're not big fans of you. Uh, but they are busy setting up a picket fence along the perimeter. So uh, their sergeant is cajoling them for uh, flapping their gums instead of flexing their arms. You can tell that this uh, military camp is going up quick. Uh, there is still no sign of Lord Bushmill. Uh, Lucas, you are outside. Uh, Dewey has just thrown gold into the streets outside the Temple of Fortuna. 
I'm sure that's not going to create a disturbance. What would you like to tell them? Uh, is there, are we out of earshot of everyone? Uh, people are still milling about, but if you keep, uh, keep a reasonable level, you should be able to maintain secrecy. Okay. I tell everyone, um, I talked to my contact. It's in Duke Ellington Bard Shop, which is across from the Drunken Baroner where we were at last night. Follow me. Lucas, you will also have information about that locale from the previous night. Okay. You catch that one? Yeah. I, okay. I, I DM'd you. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's what he's got. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go, guys. Do you want to go left or do you want to go right? What's the difference? I want to stay away from Lord Bushmill, that's for sure. You want to go left because to the left. right would be the governmental office. Left at the main drag is where they have formed up a bread line. Uh, Lord Bushmill's troops have been ordered to go ahead and try and ease the suffering of the citizens within the city walls. They are giving out what little bread they have to spare out. You're going to have to cut through a line. And those hungry people are going to be angry unless you do it tactfully. So everybody give me a charisma roll. Gold! Gold! <laughs> can I pay for my charisma roll in gold? Yes, you can. You can roll an advantage. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I I'll give you plus one for every oh. five gold you throw away. Um, Should I actually make this check? I'm sort of hiding in my cloak. I'm not uh, really you're you're, you're going to have to push your way past them. Oh, shit. Yeah, but oh my god. But if they see who I am, people are going to freaking freak. I I may I will make a check. It is 17. Taryn, quick, make a distraction. <laughs> oh my god, it's the pirate. <laughs> okay, the rest of you guys can pass. Uh, All Taren. right, so I'm going with a plus seven on this check. 50 gold. So am I like natural I 20. It was worth <laughs> it. <laughs> 27. Denise, what's your roll? <laughs> what's that? Manise. For what my uh, charisma person? roll? Fourteen. And Lucas, what was yours? Fifteen. All four of you managed to pardon us. Pardon us. Not here for the bread. Just need to get across. Just need to get yeah. across. Uh, the line gets a little bit holy, and they allow you to pass. You round the corner. Uh, remarkably, there are no guards. Are there any cultists of Sensua from my high vantage point? Investigate. Can I have advantage because I'm using Terran uh, to assist me in getting a better view? I'll give you I'm plus helping. two. I'm helping. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Yes. No cult of Sensua around this military camp. We're clear. And as you spur your mount forward, you kick Terran in the boob. <laughs> <laughs> Again, my legs are not that tall. <laughs> Yeah, but you're draped over your shoulder. Yeah, aren't they? Aren't your legs actually? I'm a two foot tall gnome. Yeah, but your legs are probably gonna at least reach my boob. They're here to here to here, man. Like six inches. Come on, Taryn's not that young. They're probably down a little bit. No, they're not. They are at their normal height. Gotta roll them up. <laughs> Taryn is is just still relatively young for a. Uh, 125. <laughs> oh, the, the write up on this would be uh, we discussed Taryn's boobs. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm surprised. I figured we would eventually. Okay. Uh, as uh, you guys head south towards the harbor, you notice Lucas is for some reason keeping his distance or outpacing you at a rather rapid rate. Uh, the crowd on the other side has also gathered as that is another bread checkpoint. Uh, but from uh, what you learned last time, you guys should be able to make sure that they are aware that you are not going to cut in line and they will let you pass uneventfully. Uh, the easiest way there is past the charred ruins of the Inn of the Laughing Mime. Is that the way you want to take them, Lucas? Yeah, fastest way. Fair enough. Investigation check, everybody. Dewey, you can still have plus two. Yeah. 16. Six. 21. 
not high enough to be worth it. But then again, I am also inside a cloak with only about this much room to then peeking out. So do we, you certainly spot a pair of uh, rough looking dudes uh, kind of helping comb through the rubble. In Sensua outfits or? No, you have seen these faces before though. We have. They you were can, the people from, who probably left the hotel before you very dexterously. From here on out, you can pretty much surmise the cult of Sensua with the military in town going to be making themselves scarce. So, so who are people, the people that we see? You think they, the they were in line for the French onion soup. Oh, I wouldn't have seen them then. French onion soup. Oh, how many people? You we went have to the inn. You went yeah. to get the French onion soup, soup, and you came back. Right. Taryn okay. noticed as you were coming back. The sensual people. You, you guys were watching, being watched by the sensual people. Okay. I'll just point to uh, Ter point Taryn. Like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm gonna shake oh. my belly like I'm. <laughs> like I'm living a good laugh and then point her head in the direction of uh, uh, the two people searching the rubble. After discussing Taryn's boobs, he then grasped her head in both hands and maneuvered it to a better vantage point. Uh, Taryn, you noticed them, uh, but your investigation was a little bit low, so that means the flap on your peephole isn't big enough. So well, he pointed them out. It's not like I'm trying to find them you know, who are they? They were in the soup line, but they're digging through the hotel place right now. Uh, Lucas in. is starting to outdistance you uh, oh, fairly oh, We're quickly. losing him. Yeah, let's uh, go. But you uh, meet up at the intersection of the Shrine of Icus. You notice that uh, there are signs on it that say closed. You go down the street a little bit more. There on your left is the Drunken Mariner. There on your right is a sign on the building that says Duke of Ellington Bard Shop closed. But you do not stand in front of the building, I assume. You no, I, I just walk right into the Bard Shop and open it, the door. Door is locked. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, as you shake the doorknob, a pair of rough-looking dudes pull back uh, the cloth. Hello, are you open? I, I need a flute for my bard friend. We're closed. What, what, why don't you have a sign? I can't read. Go away. When are you we going have to have gold open? to make it worthwhile. When are you going to be open? <laughs> When are you going to be open? I'm talking to a shut door. I they don't like this. All right, let's... Guys, let's find the back entrance. <laughs> okay. All right, we're doing this. One floor building or two floor building? <sighs> the bar shop is one. It's flanked by a three-story apartment building and a two-story warehouse. It is right... And stop drawing penises on it. Uh, the barn shop is right here underneath the hand. This is a dock warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tenement building. Everybody, everybody rushes to draw on it. <laughs> That's supposed to be. That looks like a cannon. It doesn't look like a penis. Call it what you want, Carol. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, much lower, much lower. Hey, look, it's the boobs. Oh, great. <laughs> there it is. There we go. <laughs> she is. Now no. we get banned. <laughs> so, uh, you notice that there is going to be this is every black line is an alley. So, there's an alley to get into this. Small little alcove area probably has a fountain, uh, cobblestone, or the kids play to be safe, yada, yada, yada. 
might be a tricycle or cursed baby doll back there. Um, there's <laughs> probably so I, I was told that this place is potentially heavily guarded. So maybe we should go back behind the building invisible because I would assume there would be a guard back there. Uh, any of us stealthy? I mean, I'm fairly stealthy. I could try to sneak back and see. Do you them. have greater invisibility? Because I would prefer I that we take them out if we see them. Uh, I do, but that is a high level uh, spell slot. And I only yeah. have. I mean, it'd be easier to. No, I'd rather. I would, I would rather that for an actual like combat than to scout. Because are we in combat... the alley off the street at the point, or are we still standing in front? Can I start climbing up the side and onto the roof, sure. keeping a low profile? I think there's other ways we can handle this. Two acrobatics. I think that's a good idea. I want to climb up there too. 14 and 22. Uh, it's a rough start, but you make it up. Okay. Uh, 14 and a 14. You make it up rough the whole way up. Uh, Taryn and Manise, you notice that Dewey and Lucas have scaled the building. Are you on top of the bard shop? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys I'm, are on the bard shop. I want to stealth my way to the back and kind of peek. Manise? I'll stealth over the roof and peek. That's crap roll. That's not. Uh, he got that pewter. I will. Uh, there. <laughs> I will just keep an eye out. Okay. Um, it eases your lookout. The Taryn's going the around care. back. Uh, Dewey and Lucas, you notice that the rooftop is a little bit flexible. Uh, yeah, blue walk. I mean, he's a gnome. I'm and a light I'm a gnome. gnome. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's all right. Uh, Taryn, you take a peek around the back. You see a couple of kids playing back there. Uh, you see there is a puppy, uh, and you see one guy smoking a pipe at the back door of the Ellington shop, but then he goes inside without noticing you. You hear the yeah. door shut. You hear the door click. Dewey, Lucas, uh, straight up D20 rolls, please. I mean, the fastest way inside would be through a hole in the roof, I would think. You would be correct. Uh, 18. Uh, you're both treading carefully, uh, so you have not found a weak point in the ceiling. Dewey, uh, just as you get to the edge, you hear a door shut. Uh, you look over and you see Taryn doing the peek around. Uh, you see the kids and a puppy. Uh, other than that, uh, everything's quiet in the plaza. I'm tempted to go knock on the door and see, check, see if I can get the guy with the pipe. I mean, did he look any more... Hello. Do these look interesting to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. They're a little dirty from dragging on the floor there. Shut up, man. <laughs> God, my own, yeah, I'm not that young and my own room really hang down there. So come on. Not yet. They're not, she's not that old. Oh, whoa. Hey, Taryn, Carol, <laughs> this is not you we're talking about. This is your imaginary character. Yeah, Carol Jesus. Yeah, but she would be a lot younger than me, so... No. 125? How old are you, Carol? <laughs> In relative sure. terms, yes. <clears throat> so, uh, Manise, you notice standard foot traffic out on the main drag. Uh, you see a couple sailors, and then you notice, uh, without a roll, five guards coming out of the back alley behind the drunken mariner. One of them is Cagney Lacey. Uh, up top on the roof, Lucas and Dewey, you guys are Hudson Hawking around. Uh, you notice there is no entrance here. Uh, there is no a chimney. Vent, there is a vent pipe from a chimney in the center of the building. How big is the, the vent pipe? Yeah, I think Dewey could fit in there. Or a rat. That is. Ooh, if you want to go with rat, I'll leave it to you. All right. Um, Otherwise, if you want to cast like some sort of grease thing, so I can really fit in there. Okay, I cast gaseous form on Dewey. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna die now. <laughs> yeah, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I I blow a third level spell slot because Taryn won it on gaseous form. <laughs> Being invisible is only gonna get you so far. 
Are you sure you want to do that? Give me an intelligence check. Is it windy today? You are at the cove. <laughs> it's windy everywhere. <laughs> so if you if you want to do it, you're going to have to tell him, get over by the vent pipe. I'm going to have to do this real quick. Otherwise, you're going to blow away. Yeah, I, I end I, up I, in Lord Bushmill's office. I, I tell him, <laughs> and I pick him up and sit him on top of the pipe before I cast it. <laughs> Perception, both of you. Ooh, 16. 21. You guys hear sounds of construction below. Ooh. Cool. I cast Gash's form on Dewey. Go. Go, my friend. Down the pipe he goes. Mm -hmm. Out back, Taryn, what are you doing? Uh, do I see any of this? Nope. Not I a clue. It. No clue what they're up to. You don't know what they're doing? You don't know what Maniz sees? Isn't he um, right behind me? Maniz is right here. He is keeping an eye on the front street. You went to the back by the plaza. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um... I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm so happy. So, Taryn, what are you doing? And then what is Manise doing? And then oh, Lucas. God, I am so tempted. <clears throat> so well, I, I will relay. Is is she within, like, could I communicate? So I could communicate without raising too much. <whistles> yeah, so I'll let, her, I'll let her know that I see the people. Yeah, this, the, the alley... There's no window on the barge shop, so they aren't going to hear shit. Get back here, then. And he, sa to he says there's guards. You say get back here. Well, wait. The guards are coming up the street, the front. <laughs> they just came out from behind the mariners, uh, the drunken mariner. Which way are they headed? They just came out of the alley. They're kind of in the middle of the street talking. There's a shorter one in a trench coat saying, ah, just one more thing. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of going to the back door where the guy just entered it and knocking on that to see if I can get him. That's up to you and Maniz. Uh, if worse comes to worse, not that I know what's going on on the roof, but hey, maybe I'll distract him. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go, Maniz. I'm going to go to the door. I'd say come away because I don't want them to spot us, especially her after building some trust. Already, 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 what a, a heck of a time for her to show up. So I'll go to the back door. I'm going to knock. Manise, um, are you following? Um, I'll keep an eye out. And the reason I'll stay here is in the event that we need to hustle, I can easily fly over to them and potentially at least grab one. So are you okay. I'll stay I'll say we're like where she was. Okay. Like okay, yeah. With her. So you're you're blading off on the angles. Okay, Lucas, tell me how you're gonna wreck this. Frank, can you describe my DM to the party? Why don't you just do it? <laughs> no, I wanna hear Frank. <laughs> Describe okay. the situation. Okay, uh, I can't. Dewey, are you uh, in gaseous form? Or are you going down the tube? Yes. Okay. Uh, you go down into the tube, uh, in through the chimney. You notice three individuals. Uh, they are prying the stones off the cobblestone floor, and they're moving them. Uh, all three appear to be sensual individuals. Uh, they're bitching constantly. Uh, Taryn outside, you hear this. Dewey inside, you hear this. There is a creaking of timber and it just continues to escalate. <laughs> inside, there's a loud crash. Inside, dust fills the room. Uh, now, does what have you broken concentration for the gaseous form? Uh, I don't see why. I can hold concentration in wild shape. That's definitely for sure. <laughs> okay, because you're going to take a minor amount of damage. Either That's one okay. Two. Okay. I was expecting that. And now oh. I'm blending into the dust. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there is a loud 
or a large hole in the ceiling as a cave bear drops through the roof. Uh, Taryn, outside you hear and a loud calamity of noise. Uh, where Meniz is at, he will not hear it. He will hear the timber breaking. He won't hear the roar. <laughs> Apparently, a giant cave bear has dropped through the ceiling and is now inside with the Cultus of Sensua and the gaseous Dewey Docamel, which you also do not know he's in there. <laughs> you can go ahead and surmise that your colleagues have done something retarded. Uh, <laughs> um, what what's gonna happen is I'm not gonna drop Gash's form until all three cult members are look at me. So hopefully Dewey, the barbarian rogue, <clears throat> can be behind the Sensua members Fair before enough. I drop Gash's form. Okay, so let's all just do initiative rolls now to save us a little bit of time. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Twenty one. Not that good. <laughs> Eighteen. Not that good. Wow, fourteen. <coughs> 14. Better than you. <coughs> That's 20. fine. Uh, Twenty-one. The uh, giant cave bear descends. You are up against three cultists of Sensua who are what, well, surprised what? to say the least. Uh, what you want to do when they come for you? Um. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do my. I don't know, claw attack against the nearest cult member. Okay. Uh, that is a 22 to hit. Oh, yeah, easily. All right. So <coughs> where's my other d6? That was not that good. Seven plus eight. 15 magic slashing. Both hit. That was the damage. Yeah. Oh, 15? Yeah. Uh, I'll say you're going after number one. Cool. Now that I have their attention, my bonus action is to drop Dash's form. Uh, Dewey, <laughs> you get spit out, uh, and you are behind number three. <clears throat> uh, I will go into a rage, and I will destroy this person. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This Fair was enough. this is strategic right here. Good job. Twenty-five to hit. <laughs> yep. Natural twenty to hit. Yeah. Okay. So the first one we're doing. I should have gotten all the dice out. Baby. Um, that is going to be ten radiant damage and eight uh, bludgeoning damage. Okay. The next one is going to be old. <laughs> same person, I assume, correct? Same person, you presume, is shoot eleven, uh, fifteen, eighteen, um, twenty-four piercing damage. Uh, that is enough to turn him into a sack of shit. He goes down. Uh, 18. Maniz, out, uh, as you guard the posts, you hear the loud crash, uh, presuming that Ernie has turned himself into a cave bear and crashed through the ceiling. Uh, you do not know where Dewey's at. Uh, you cannot, you can see Taryn quickly approaching, I assume, the back door, Taryn. Yeah. Uh, Maniz, you are up on initiative. What would you like to do? Um, I will fly up to the noise because I assume it has to do with those guys. Mm -hmm. Good assumption. And, <laughs> well, uh, upon seeing the hole, I will fly in said hole. Okay. That answers my question. Uh, you descend into the dust-ridden domain. Uh, you will not be able to attack. They will not be able to attack you. Dewey, your rage has captured the attention of number two, Lucas in cave bear form number one. Uh, yeah. Sacred flame and hold person. Sacred flame on Lucas. Oh, no. 19 plus. Uh, Dewey, 
old per, or I'm sorry, hold person. So DC eleven is all you need. Wisdom. I fail that. However, I can once per rage re-roll a failed saving throw. Okay. And I failed that as well. <laughs> <sighs> he is held. Lucas, uh, you're taking the damage on the sacred flame, and it seems a little bit potent. Who was the caster? Number one. Perfect. Good to know. Uh, 14 hit points blasts into your furry chest. Taryn, you heard the crash. You hear sounds of fighting. Uh, you heard the flap of wings. You are at the back door. What would you like to do? Does the door got a window in it so I can see in or no? Nope. I, I don't know how I'm going to get in. Um, I assume the door is locked. You want to check? I'm going to. I pulled it. it it, it is because the, the smoker, you heard the click. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I remember that. You have mage hand. You can look in the window, cast it, and unlock the door. No A window. window. <gasps> You're screwed. And I don't have mage hand. <laughs> you know what? If in. there was a rogue, they could probably lockpick that door. You, you know, if I were you, <laughs> I'd call for Fessick. Fessick, he's getting away. <laughs> <laughs> Side one who now is held, but there are two people inside who could unlock the freaking door. Uh, actually, one of them is held. I, I unlocked I, the ceiling. As I said, there's two people <laughs> who unlock the, <laughs> the, the Manise, two people who aren't either of us. Maniz is in there. Uh, what are you going to do, Taryn? You're stuck outside. Uh, what can I? Uh, Jesus, what can I do? Um, While she's thinking of that, Lucas, D12 <laughs> against me. Let's see if the guards notice. I hope so. Ten. Okay. Go, go ahead, Taryn. So, can I answer this? Breaking down the door. Strength check. Um, I could try that. Or you can melee it if you want. It's AC, um, it's AC 10, so it's not like it's going to dodge you. <laughs> I'm not proficient at uh, I'm not profici proficient at thieves tools, which I believe would be picking the lock. Do you I have any fire weapons? That usually your, does good against doors. Your friends are dying inside. <laughs> <laughs> I will try a strength check. I don't think I, have to, I don't have any spells. The problem is there's no window. Otherwise, I could have tried to cast something on them. Pick in the door, Taryn. And not please, please get it. your foot Do caught it. in it. <laughs> How many actions, how many attacks can I make here to try to kick in the door? Just one. Just one? If you kick it, it in successfully, you'll be inside for round two. Nope, that's only a six. Her foot goes right through the door. <laughs> it's top okay. of the order. Uh, Bear Lucas. Yeah, I'm going to attack uh, number one again with okay. my claws. And that was a uh, 13 to hit. Uh, that is enough. Oh, does it break concentration on hold person? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Number two was the hold number, person. Number, number was one was the flames. I asked they were who both was the caster, and you said one. I, I, I meant who casted hold person. Oh, number two. Sorry. Then, I, I thought you meant who blasted you. Oh, no. I want to go for the person who was doing hold person. Oh, okay. So damage, and I will roll. What All do right, I need, do above or below 10? To maintain. Know, choose one. You need half the damage. Lucas, how many attacks did you make? I just did my claw attack. Okay, right. so one claw has to roll 10 or above on that one. No. All right, so whole person's broken, and I just did 14 <laughs> two <laughs> magic slashing. Uh, on number two. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Dewey, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you're up. <laughs> I would like to show my appreciation. Uh, recklessly, uh, 20 to hit, natural 20 on the second one, and I'm going to make an assumption, and I'm going to stab number one Okay. on the last one, which is going to be a 14 to hit. Uh, that hits. Okay. So the first one is... Way easier than the guys outside the city. Way easier. Yeah. That's good. Those guys outside of the city were jerks. Seven bludgeoning, 
uh, and six radiant damage. The next one stabbing with the dagger is, wow, that one was shit compared to the first one. Um, 11, 13, 14 on that one. Damage. 14 damage. Okay. And I already called that I moved over to number one, so. Correct. Uh, that is going to be five bludgeoning damage. On to number one again, right? On to number one. Okay, not doing too well. Maniz, you have landed in the debris that was once the shitty roof of uh, Duke Ellington's shop. Uh, you notice your friends are engaged in battle. What would you like to do? Oh, you also see a foot sticking through the back door. Hack at it. Crappy door if I could get my foot. Um, I think I... it's an uh, intruder. <laughs> Intrude the door. Boot. You know what? Grab cast... her by the leg and pull her in. <laughs> I will cast a guiding bolt at one action. <laughs> there is one on Lucas and one on Sacred Dewey. Flame. Which one do you want to do? Sacred Flame. Uh, one on Dewey and two on Lucas? One on each. I just need one to know each. because the hit points are different. Okay. Uh, I will go. Which one's closer to me? Uh, Dewey's would be the one closest to you. Okay, I will go for the one at Dewey, and I will cast Sacred Flame. I need a Dex 13. Uh, no. No 13? Uh, that's a 7. Okay. Here. And that'll be 9 Radiant Damage. My turn. Uh, I am going to stick with who I went after. Uh, so, Lucas, you're now on Dewey's original, Dewey's original, blah, blah, blah. Uh, fuck it. I'm just going to try and hit you guys. Uh, Lucas. In bear form 13? Uh, yeah, AC 13. And do we do I get advantage? Yes. Uh, wrong time for advantage, not 20. All right. Well, you're welcome. Uh, only seven to each of you. I'm sorry, eight to each of you. All right. Uh, bludgeoning, if it matters. Nope. To me as well? No, no, no. not you. We're um, assuming you're... that the critical was 16, but eight now because I divided in half. Correct. Okay. Uh, Taryn, uh, your foot stuck in the door. <laughs> Can I pull it out? Do you want to pull it out or push your way through? I want to pull it out. Go ahead and give me a strength check. Oh, if you uh, fail, it's going to hurt. Oh, and you lose your shoe. Uh, that's good. Though. That's a 19 strength check. You managed to pull your foot out. I have a hole in the door I can now see in. Correct. Correct. Okay, so now I can do something because everybody's close by. As You're a just bonus crouched action. down. Yeah, you, you, you only get your bonus action. Your main action is pulling your foot out. Okay, bonus action. I'm going to look at Dewey. I'm going to like, get him, Dewey, and get you have inspiration. Ro okay, so you don't need to see him, correct? Uh, as long I as I can hear, I believe. Is I think one of those so. Okay, that's, that's fair. Yeah, if you can hear, that's fine. My <laughs> number is to let Could you, with 63, can, can hear you, gain an inspiration die 1d8. 1d8? Okay. Minutes. So you get fair d8. Enough. Top of the order, Lucas the Bear. <laughs> yeah, another claw attack against number two. That is a 23 to hit. And that is 16 magic slashing. Yeah, slashing. Got it. Done. Yeah. Beating on the front door. Dewey, you are up. Okay. Wait, there, uh, there's banging on the front door? Or is that just a... Oh, that's oh, cool. They, they didn't come to the back. <laughs> what? Hey, <everybody. laughs> that, that'll be next round. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucked myself by saying that's okay. 16 <coughs> damage 10, or to hit. Uh, to hit. Yep, 10 does not. 
Uh, I'm going to turn that into a 17 that and a 25. All three hit. Okay. That is going to be... That difference. Uh, four, three, nine... Let's add the five in there. 14 plus 12 plus 14. He's dead. 28. <laughs> he had three left. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. And seven radiant damage. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Manise, Dewey's falls to the ground in a heap of rubble. You hear beating on the door. Uh, and Lucas is still squaring off with one of them. I will cast. Uh, why not? Let's cast uh, Guiding Bolt to the one that Lucas is with. That'll be a 15 to hit. Hits. <coughs> Horrible rolls. Nine radiant damage. Not good enough. Uh, my turn. I jump into the hole. Oh. Into the catacombs. Shit. Uh, Taryn, you see just a blink of a human being go through the floor. Get uh, him! And then you feel <laughs> a blade. Mm. Show me your hands. Uh, the front door gets kicked in. Uh, Maniz, Lucas, and Dewey, guards rush in. Uh -oh. Odd, odd, the trio gets lucky. Even Taryn gets lucky. I want to get lucky. Odd, <laughs> the trio gets lucky as the door is kicked open by somebody who doesn't put their foot through the door. Uh, it is Captain Cagney Lacey enters. How, how big is uh, the hole in the ground? Uh, it's good size. It's probably four feet across. Uh, like bear size? She, uh, you'll be stuck, probably. Uh, as, as the three guards pour in, uh, they brush away the dust, and it's like, what in the hell are you guys doing here? The back door is kicked open, and Taryn enters with a blade on her neck, followed by another guards person. Uh, Captain Cagney Lacey sees Taryn, waves off the guard. Uh, the blade comes off of your shoulder, and she yes. demands answers. Cult of Sensua. We just found them here because we were buying our bard friend a flute. We don't need to lie. Persuasion. I, <laughs> I think that's deception. Thank you. Okay, yeah, good deception. Still a negative three. I, I try to act Let's meek. Not <laughs> threatening. You know what? Minus three. That <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Negative Minus two. two. <laughs> so, oh, my Dewey's one. recognized, Manise is recognized, Taryn is recognized, and there's a fucking bear here. I'm just acting meek and non intimidating right now. That's the fourth. Captain <laughs> Captain Cagney Lacey asks, Are, "Did you guys go to Russia? Because no, there's always it's... dancing bears th there." Druid, Druid. What What are you buying a flute? No, really? <laughs> buying a flute. That's your answer. <laughs> the was... answer is, "Oh, hi there. We're just buying a flute for for our bride friend." As he's covered in blood, <laughs> <laughs> standing over, just. <laughs> These guys were robbing the store when we came in. Yeah, the store's the been store? closed for a, this close. This store's been closed for months. So, we still rob it. D look around. Do you see any instruments? Oh, no. We did not know. I did. <laughs> 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 invisible. God, to get a who, word in. who wants to impress her? I will. Hey. I will. Taren, Taren. I will. <laughs> You're Are you gonna dance, bear? bear? Are you gonna dance? Yeah, I'm gonna pick up some rubble and start juggling. <laughs> okay, that's pretty impressive. But performance check. <laughs> oh, <laughs> performance. Okay. Go ahead, Taryn. Talk your way out of this mess. Oh, this. All right. So you know, I, I just look at her. I'm like, ignore them. You know. 
Both of them. Wow, a four, really? <laughs> yeah, I rolled a four. I just throw the rubble up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna get this up. Okay, Taryn, convince her. We told you yesterday why we needed to be here. And unfortunately, it looked like your offices were closed. Everything is all chaos. And we heard about there's an entrance to the catacombs right here. We need, we, I told you yesterday, we have to get in. Now it's even more dire because. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who told you there was an entrance here? We found out. I wouldn't know. Actually, I didn't find out first. Everybody perception check. The bear has a contact. <laughs> 19. <laughs> Not 20. <laughs> You're a bear. You should have advantage, right? <laughs> Manise, Taryn, and Dewey. <laughs> I, I only have an advantage on smell perception check. Boom! Uh, something erupts just outside. Uh, you can hear the noise coming in from the hole in the ceiling. Everybody kind of crouches down as the building itself shakes and dust begins to fall. We Whatever. Get- Captain Cagney Lacey and her troops run out the front. As the door goes open, you see a boulder hit the drunken mariner. Like uh, it oh, I get it. I get it. The Cole <laughs> messaged the Fulton people, and now they started bombarding the area. Did, yeah, did this come from a catapult on a ship? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You want to go outside and take a look? <laughs> I, I see through the ceiling. Uh, <laughs> looking up, give me a perception check. We need to get down that hole and after the person that went in there, by the way. Wow. Just I rolled said, another I one. Said, I said, look up, not look down. <laughs> uh, Dewey, Maniz, and Taryn, you hear. Get down the hole. Everybody I down. run down the hole leading the way. And I go second in bear form. And, and get, get stuck. stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Winnie. You Wait, shouldn't let the honey alone. We gotta get down. Shrink, Lucas. Uh, Tara or Maniz D12 against me. Oh, please don't get killed. Uh, ten. A great freak. Two. Uh, you hear another crash outside. You can't tell where it is. Might have been the tenement house behind you. Probably only civilian deaths. Fuck it. Fuck it. My sister's the one running this operation, right? We do somehow know that. She's the one in charge of all the ships out there. I'm sorry. Did you go see her when she arrived? No, you no, didn't. It was you said, actually, it was said it. You said it. In the you game. know those I'm townspeople. Really? They, they make shit up. Uh, Dewey, <laughs> you are down there. You notice that an entire wall has been collapsed leading into the crypts. That is the stone that they were ferrying up and out of the hole. They have broken into the crypts. Uh, Lucas, fat ass, yeah. you've clogged the hole. So there's no way I can squeeze in here. Not without doing considerable damage to yourself. Oh, Keep no. running because I didn't realize Lucas came after me. Fair enough. Into the crypts you go. Uh, I guess I'll revert to my elven form. You plop down. Uh, Manise, Terran, uh, dog three is open. <laughs> <laughs> Keep moving. Do you want, Denise, do you want to go in front of me or behind me? I'll go in. Aaron, D12 against me. Oh, goody. Wait, was that, what was that, Denise, by the way? I'll go in behind. Okay. 11. Three. Uh, another boulder is heard. Uh, it crashes somewhere close, but you aren't sure where. Uh, one last perception check for Denise and Taryn as you look skyward. They're uh, 16. 14. Uh, Manise, Taryn, you see stones being lobbed in from the port. Stones being lobbed out from the city. You guys be in a battle. Uh, Dewey is nowhere to be seen as he's already entered the catacombs thinking Lucas would be behind him. And this sounds like the perfect place to end the scenario for the night 
Uh, let's go with final thoughts, starting with Kyle. Because you're still raging, aren't you? No, no, not at this point. Oh, okay. Lucas or uh, Ernest? Uh, that was awesome. I'm glad we finally got to the catacombs. And uh, I, I'm glad that I came in through the ceiling. That was just fun. That was, that was great. That, that was a good call. I'll give you that. Uh, Carol. Uh, that was awesome. I mean, oh my God, the beginning of this where we're all sneaking around trying to figure out how to get to somewhere safe. That was, that was great. I, I love that kind of problem solving and, and that level of danger. That was cool. And I am very much looking forward to what we're going to find, especially the enemy, the enemy who's trying to find the same thing. They're in here with us now. How you know, only- when you only look for an enemy, you'll only find enemies. I, yeah, but I, if the, they really are the cult of Centaur. They're the enemy. Well, we killed two of them, so they are now. <laughs> I mean, uh, and, and this person was hurt, I think, too. So I think we can we can deal with them. I'm not too worried about that. But I'm more worried about what else we're going to find in a bunch of catacombs. Nothing, right? Nothing but a bunch of skeletons? Nothing. I mean, there might be other cult members already down here. Coffins, <laughs> coffins filled with jewels. Chris, I, what'd you think? Uh, good times. We we killed a couple people. We got, as Ernest mentioned, we got to the crypts. Seems like all hell's breaking loose outside. So good times ahead, I'm sure. Yeah, not our problem. At least you're probably <laughs> safe underground. Well, well it's oh. sort of your problem, except for the fact that I'm still wearing the face of the lady who's probably in charge of shelling the city right now. Probably. It's, so that could be a problem. Folks, there you have it. Uh, they have made it to the catacombs and holy shit, they actually got to fight uh, for once. Uh, kind of kind of rare, but I think it added to it. Uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, again, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, it's there. Uh, if you want to join us on Discord, it's there. Most importantly, if you want to join us on a show or on the talk show, Go ahead and hit us up, mhobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. We'll see what we can do to get you in there. Uh, <laughs> next uh, opportunity is talk show on Tuesday, uh, folks. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, we had a good time, uh, and we've left them hanging again. Uh, everybody, wave, wash your hands, cover your mouth when you cough, and have a great rest of the weekend. Have a great rest of the weekend. Yeah! Oh. Thanks, Oddfish Games. <laughs> yeah, don't.